What's up, people? News Ninja Wayne Dupree. Listen, I got asked some questions about Clive and Bundy. I put out a uh, post yesterday uh, based on what he based on what was it what he said allegedly, and then uh, I put out the video or that part of the video that I found on YouTube. Um, first and foremost, Clive and Bunny is an American. He can say whatever the hell he wants to. You know, everybody has that right. You have the right to say whatever you want to say, and you also had a right to be chastised for how you said it. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know, people people are getting mad. People are getting angry because uh, people are removing their support from him because of what he said. That's their prerogative. That's their prerogative. You can't expect somebody to to um, 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 to back someone who comes out and 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 I believe that I understand what he was saying. I just think it was delivered wrong. I do. I I think it was delivered wrong. But you can't believe. I mean, and and he came out and he backed it up. So I mean, am I against Clive and Bundy? I am. I support Clive and Bundy for one reason, it's because I don't know him as a man, but I don't think that the government should be jumping on him. I don't think that the government should be um, threatening him like Harry Reid. I don't believe that the government should be sending foot soldiers with um, um, AK-47s or, or um, um, automatic weapons against Americans that are per, um, that are going to support Clive and Bundy. I don't think that that's right. That's why I, that's why I support him. I, I don't know his views. I don't know anything about this man. But I don't like what he I, I, I don't like his delivery. And that's my prerogative. Now, uh, when you look at Harry Reid talking about Obama and a Negro dialect, I don't uh, 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 Bundy didn't say anything about any dialects. Bundy didn't say anything about having niggers voting Democrat for the next 20 years, like President Johnson. Bunny didn't talk about the Indians working at 7-Eleven like um, um, Joe Biden. Uh, uh, Bundy didn't say anything about white niggers um, on uh, uh, TV like Robert Byrd. Uh, so, I mean... Ladies and gentlemen, the Democrat Party has had a, hit, a long history of doing this for a long history. But you don't see nobody from their side jumping on that. Look at the Twitter timeline, Twitter timeline. Look at the Facebook timeline. You don't see Democrats calling up Harry Reid for for calling Obama a good old boy. Yeah, boy, you're a good old boy. Thank you. Yeah, oh, you you just get rid of that Negro dialect. Yeah, get, get, get rid of that. You, you'll be a good president, boy. You can be a good president. And what did Obama do? Oh, <laughs> that's okay, sir. Um, he really didn't mean nothing by that. He, he, he just like that. And no harm, no foul. No, 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 no harm, no foul. Let me be clear. I su I support uh, Harry Reid. And y'all want to jump on Clive and Bundy. The Democrats want to jump on Clive and Bundy, but they don't want to say nothing about Harry Reid or Nancy Pelosi. Oh, well, you know, the, somebody came to me, bull crap. Somebody came to me and said we wouldn't be having this immigration thing if um, it were the Irish. Nice going, Nancy. We also believed you. No, you, you wanted people to believe that uh, people would, uh, that y'all would know what it was in when y'all signed the bill for Obamacare. Yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, statements are made every day. People have opinions. You don't get angry at those opinions. Or uh, no, no, you know, actually, you can get mad all you want to. You can get mad all you want to. That's your prerogative. This is America. You can do that. <laughs> you can do it. Get mad. Get angry. Just don't put your hands on nobody. Clive and Bundy, you hey you open a you open a can of worms, boy. You open a can of worms. But I, I, uh, in closing, I don't think that uh, minorities today would have been better in slave times. I don't. Slaves were whipped. They were they were they were taken away from their families. They were hunted down and they were lynched. I don't see that happening today. 
I see a whole lot of rims and, and, and big old trucks and Obama phones and this and different things like that. I, I know about the association. I know what he's trying to say about the association. I just don't agree with that minorities would be better as slaves during slavery time picking cotton. And for those people that jump on it, jump and say, well, you know what? I agree. Blacks would have been better. No. Or, um, or, or they say, well, it was respectable work back then, or it was, it was work. Really? Really? It, if it was respectable, well, you can see a whole lot of white people in the history books picking cotton as slaves. That's all I got to say. News Ninja, 2012.com, WayneDupree.com. I am loving this. I am getting ready to be on the Tea Party Tour, Tea Party Express. Loving it. We will be working it out. Y'all take care of yourself. God bless. Rolling.